using bulk fibers, you'll need a fiber color that's in between two colors that you already have, or you'd like to see some streaks and variation through your color. In order to start the blending process, you'll already need to have your fiber shuffled. And what that means is that it comes to a nice, fine taper on the ends. If you need to learn more about that, there is a separate tutorial so that you can learn how to shuffle those fibers. For the mixing portion, we're actually going to take part of this bundle and part of this bundle And depending on how much of either the white or the pink that you want to see will be the ratio that you use. Okay, now that we have our two colors, we're simply going to look at where the ends fall, adjust them so they're similar, and set one right on top of the other. This is your last chance to really adjust those end points, so be really careful and watch that. From here, we're simply going to take the fiber, lay one over the top of the other, fan it out, and separate the bundles into two. Then we're just gonna place it right on top of the other bundle. With a few passes of your blending, you'll start to see some very nice striped patterns emerge. So if this is about your desired look, you can stop here. And if you want a more blended look, you're going to keep going until you have a more finished mix. For this project, I would like a more blended look, so we're just going to continue blending until we get a color that's closer to a solid that's in between the two starting colors. From time to time, it's a good idea to just run a comb or a brush through, pass it to your other hand so that you get both sides, and you can use your thumb to help spread out any inconsistencies in the color. And that is turning out really nicely. Blending your fibers will allow you to have infinite possibilities when it comes to color.